Hey guys, so I want to help you get going on these uh, little FET labs that I got and, um, you know, just give you some tips that way I don't have all this craziness happen. So it'll probably look something like this when you start this lab and you'll have a couple things for these little FET labs. You'll have the document and then you'll have the link to go to FET. Um, and I'm hoping FET works on phones and all those other things. Gosh, because um, I don't know how else we do labs. So I guess we have to figure something out. So to get to the lab sheet, you click on this thing that says Doc. And that will show you the lab sheet. Oop, there it is. Here's the lab sheet. Okay. Make that small. And then what I've done is I've given you a link to FET, and it should open in a new window. And if I uh, so for this first lab, right? We're using masses and springs. Okay, and it's always a good idea to read the lab. So read through the dang lab, see what it wants you to do. A little bit of a discussion. The math you're doing is very minimal. It's basically FG equals M M MG right there. Um, now, for the lab, when you click on this, it's going to give you all these options. Come on. Just, you can just do this intro option. You don't even need to go to the, to the lab. Some people will because they won't watch this video. But I can double click this. Go to the intro and it gives you these two springs. It's going to look different than what's on the lab sheet because this was what the old lab used to look like. And the new lab looks like this. And okay, you know. They're always updating things, so there you go. So you get these two springs, okay? And all we're going to do is investigate um, what happens when you change the spring constant. So you have these two springs. You can change the uh, spring constant, which is K, okay? Ha! Huh. So what it wants you to do in the lab, it says you're going to take some data for one spring on the default stiffness, which that's what it's set to right now. This is the de default. You can do this. You can you can leave one spring at the default, and then the lab says you're going to take some more data for another spring, but you're going to set set it to a very high k. So what that means is for this spring, I'll leave it here at the default setting, and for this second spring, I can take it and just do that and it's going to make it look like a beefier spring. So what I've done for the second spring is just make the K really big. And so what happens is when I hang stuff on this first one, you see you get a certain type of movement, which for this lab we don't really care about how it moves per se. And for this one, you see it moves in a different way, right? Okay. You're going to do one spring at a time. So for the lab, it wants you to do uh, the one set on the de default first. You have to measure mass, which is easy because mass is already given. I just use these known masses, right? You have a 250, you have a 100, and you have a 50. So I'd use those three. And you got to change it from grams to kilograms. The displacement. So here's how this is going to basically work. Is I would say, okay, I'm going to use this first spring. This is my de default spring. I'm going to hang this on there, and the dang thing's going to move. And I don't want it to move. I want it to stop. So I'm going to hit this little red button, and that will stop it. And then I can hit this button over here. It says equilibrium uh, position, and it shows me where this thing would hang if I left it hanging and just went home, right? When I came back the next day, it would be just hanging still like this, okay? Um, if, if I have a smaller mass, well, then it's, you know, it's going to hang in a different spot, not quite as, you know, low because there's more mass, right? I'm giving away the whole lab. Anyway, in order to get it to stop, you got to hit this little red button right here. This is the ruler. You can grab it and you can measure. And the whole idea is to measure from where the spring was. So what I can do is, right, I can take it and I can measure from So the spring was up here, and this thing pulls it all the way down. It looked like around 40, right? So my stretch is about 40 from where the spring was without a mass to where it is now with this big mass. Then I can take that one off, 
and I can hang this little one, get it to stop. And so this little one, it looks like only makes it, it's about 16, 17, something like that. This is the 100 gram one. And then I can take this 50 and hang, hang it on there and get it to stop. Ooh, and it only stretches to about 8. And that's what you're doing. And so you would put those, um, those displacements in here for the 250, the 100, and the 50, those displacements. So as the mass gets bigger, the displacement will get bigger. Oh my gosh. Calculating force, you're not actually going to measure this. You're just going to cal cal calculate force. So you're going to do m times g. So you take your mass in kilograms and multiply by 9.8, boom, and you'll get your force. Okay. And then you can do this again on this side. So I'll put my ruler about right there, right? And then I can do this all again and see what happens. What kind of stretch? Let me stop it. What kind of stretch? Well, I'm going to get less stretch. I'm giving the whole lab away, but that's how this lab is going to work. Okay. And of course, we have all these cool little lines. So there's your natural length. And then, boom, see? So you're measuring from the blue line to the green line, and that's what goes in the displacement category here. Yeah? All right, and then after that, you're going to have to make some graphs. I don't care how you make these graphs. Right, draw them on paper. Uh, do them on your TI-80 something, and then take a picture and just stick that in the file. That's fine. Um, and you're going to have to come to some conclusions. I got some questions here, and you can ask me you know, ask me questions about these. That way, I can help out. Okay, because I want you to get these all right. And so that's how this little lab goes. All right. Um, I used to do this with real springs, and actually this is better because, you know, you can pause things and you can, I mean, this is actually a much more a accurate way to measure stuff. Um, but this is what you're doing here. Notice the difference. Stop it. When the Ks are different, the difference in the stretch for the same mass. Okay. So these are the things we're supposed to be learning here. All right. Okay, now, how are you going to turn this in? You can turn it into me in any old way you want. You could print this off and fill it out and do it, and then take a picture and send it to me. You can just open this up, and you can word process in here. Right? And then you can save it, and then you can send it to me. How are you going to send it to me? Well... Send it to me in Canvas. There's a mail system in Canvas. Or you can send it to me oh, whoops, in my mailbox, dsharky at AISD.net. Okay. All right. So I hope this helps. I uh, hope some of you watch it before you just dive right in. Some of you are going to dive right in. There's nothing I can do about it. All right. Good luck.